Hi, here I am again to show you the ink number 14 of the diamine or diamine or whatever, the ink vent calendar. This has been a very fun process until now and now let's see what is inside door 14 and Here we have it. This is the Jack Frost and it is a shimmer and sheen ink. And let's see. There you can see the old glitter down there. I will just shake this a little bit. And there's still plenty down there. Some is already in suspension, but there is plenty there. Today is a little cold, so I wonder if the room temperature makes any difference in the in how the the particles float in ink. So let me put some shadow on it. I think you can see. The sheen now it's starting to settle in the in the part that I had down. Okay, it will be fun. So I'll be right back. Hi again, and we are here to show you the swatch of this ink. So this is the Jack Frost number 14, and there is a lot to this ink. It is like a turquoise and it has darker shading and it has shimmer that you can see there, a blue shimmer and then it has a pink sheen so I would say that this color is quite complex to go with it I thought this one was a good one because it has blue parts and then other, other colors like the brownish and this is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero, and the color is Pietra Marina. A very nice Italian pen. And now, let's take a look what of, uh, at this and to its chromatography. You can see it is not a water-resistant ink. I think this is common to most of these diamine inks of the Inkvent calendar. And there it is mainly a blue uh, color. There is not much to it. When you look at this, you don't see all, all that uh, interest. If you look closer, and I don't think I can show it to you, it's not easy. Uh, there, you, the part that you see here is mostly the shimmer part that stays on paper where the, in the place where the line was drawn first. I have to show you this ink next to the Schiffer script turquoise, just to compare it, quite different, and then with Leonardo Turquesi Avai, and it is more similar. And you may see that the color of the sheen is different, and this one has no glitter. When, compare, when we compare this ink with the two previous blue inks of this Inkvent calendar, we have here the blue peppermint, which is completely different. In common, they have the shimmer. And then we have this polar glow that is very, I would say, it is quite similar to that one, but this one has some shimmer that makes it glow a little bit more. So, more interesting, I would say. Now, Let's see this ink on the paper. And we have here our usual papers that I've been using for my ink reviews. And we have here the Moleskin, then the Oxford and the Navigator paper. On the Moleskin, you can see how the ink be how, how the ink behaves. And there is visible some feathering along some uh, fibers of this ink, of this paper. You can see the 
shading, you can see the sheen of it, but and you may see some shimmer, but the shimmer is the hardest part to see. Although this is an M nib and it is quite wet, but it is harder to see. Here it is easier to see the shading and the sheening, but the shimmer is not also that visible. And here you have the other sample, and this is the navigator. I see now that I forgot to do my little ink swatches. I don't know if it is worth it to lose some time doing this on camera, but maybe it makes sense because I should have made them. I'm still not very used to do these kind of ink reviews. It is just some format that I came with, up with it uh, not long ago and I'm still getting used to it. But when I finish the calendar, I think I will have lots of practice in doing that. So let's take a look at these little swatches that I made with the pen and I would say the shimmer is clearly visible on the moleskin paper that is here. I'm not sure you can see it there at home, you know, on your computer or your screen. No shimmer visible or easily visible on the on the Oxford paper. I think Oxford paper is great for shading and sheening, not for shimmer. And here I can see most of any of those characteristics. Now let's go to the Rhodia paper and on the Rhodia paper you can see the other components of this ink. It behaves well mostly like on the Oxford paper and it has a longer drying time. It is more on 15, 15 seconds to dry up most of it but where little spots of ink stays uh, in bigger quantities, it takes longer to uh, to dry. There, you can just have a slight look at where the ink was, the first line, but only in some places. In other places, it disappeared completely. So it is not water resistant at all. And let's see the phrase, the quick brown. Fox jumps over the lazy dog. And this is it. I hope you liked the presentation of this ink. Uh, what do you think about it? Is this a really interesting ink? I think it is. Uh, it is quite similar to the Polar Glow, but I would call this one Polar Glow because I think the glow makes sense with shimmer, but it's just my opinion. Please tell me what you think, if you think this ink is quite unique or if you can find it elsewhere in some other brands. As I told you, I'm making a list of every ink that you suggest and then I'll try to get them and to compare and to make those kind of things in the future, if you're liking this kind of ink reviews. Uh, but I think it makes sense for my channel to also uh, take more time talking about inks and not, and not only about pens. So this is all for today. I hope you liked it and see you tomorrow. Bye.